Thank you. I know it's a bit unconventional for a candidate to play guitar at his own fundraiser, but um, but I can. So I'm gonna play a song for y'all, and then uh, Karen's gonna say a few words, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say a few words. I really appreciate you coming down today, really. Thank you. This. Um, this is a song I, I wrote uh, for the band 600 Pounds of Sin that I was in several years ago. It was uh, several days after the uh, Upper Big Branch collapse. And uh, it's not a protest song. And the main, the main message of this song is that people are more than numbers. And that's what, you know, that's what that means to me. This song is called 29. I've been born back there. He's not paying attention, but give I'll a round of applause for my brother Dave. And I've got a round of help from this guy right here, Mr. Mike Plant, who's been the best consultant I could find in this state. Is uh, without him, I definitely would not have made it, you know, as far as we have. Uh, and my band, my newest bandmate, Mike Plant, the banjo extraordinaire, and uh, the Carpenter Ants. How about the Carpenter Ants? Down here and playing uh, the kindness of their heart to, uh, you know. And uh, Governor Romney, are you here yet? Oh, I mean, Governor Romney came down today. Um, actually, uh, now we invited him. We knew he was going to be in town raising money for some other candidates, and uh, you know, I figured out we would extend the invitation to him, but I don't think he took us up on it. One thing that uh, Mitt. Uh, got wrong, and there's a few things he got wrong. The one thing he, he got wrong in 2012 was um, he said that 47% of the people would not vote for him. And um, he was wrong about that. 47% of the people did vote for him. O only 47% of the people voted for him. But the, the big thing that he really got wrong there is treating, you know, thinking of people as numbers. And like I said in the song that I did before called 29, um, yeah, I don't believe people are numbers. I don't see people as votes. I don't see people here as contributors. I see people as people. That's why I'm running for office. That's why I started this uh, over a little over a year ago why I filed for pre-candidacy and why I felt that a cab driver who writes folk songs uh, is, is able to represent this district because I see the people of the district daily. I take people to work in the cab. I take them to the grocery store. I take people to the hospital. I take their kids to school. Unfortunately, sometimes I have to take them to the emergency room, pick them up from the emergency room. So I see people in their day-to-day -day lives every day when I'm at work, and I feel that I can be a good representative of the people of this district because I don't see people as numbers. I don't see it as 47% of the people won't vote for me no matter what. I, I don't see it like that. So, you know, with your help, you know, we made it through a very tough primary. I uh, had some very good opponents in the Democratic primary. 
uh, Richard Lindsay, Brad Heflin, Archie Chestnut, who had plenty of signs in his window here every time I drove by, there were a lot of chestnut <laughs> signs. Here. But I appreciate that, Archie's a good guy. You know, and, and uh, Robert Sheets. And had any of those uh, guys won the primary, without hesitation, I would be supporting them here today if they were having a fundraiser. Because they're, ideologically, we're not that different on that side with any of those guys. However, I do have an opponent this November, and we have very vast differences in what we believe. So yeah, I believe that uh, somebody like Jay Thomas that owns this, owns this establishment here needs m more friends uh, at the Capitol. Because uh, Jay is a small business owner. This is a locally owned business. He employs a lot of people in this area. And he was hurt bad by the, by the uh, chemical spill that happened in January. I think somebody like Jay needs more friends at the Capitol. And I think the you know, large businesses that are, that are run by out-of-state interests, they have plenty of friends at the Capitol already. I want to be a friend of people like Jay, you know. <laughs> you know people like John and Keely on the East End. Small business owners in this district, that's who employs people, that's who I want.